So talking about things that make sense, one of them would be good promos for FNM and we're getting A for Hub for June. Very excited. I'll probably go ahead and make a standard deck and start playing standard again. It's not as much that the promo is valuable. It just tells me that they care enough and they are listening because Ava Hub is an extremely desirable promo. I Again, in the previous video, I talked about desirability versus value. Sometimes they're not the same. So what could be better than that is stores that run standard. Wizard of Coast, obviously, their bread and butter is standard because it doesn't it rotates out therefore they can keep selling new packs if they run standard they get some stuff they get cards and they get play mats now what is the value of the stuff they get uh, quite high actually and the one thing about this is kind of strange is a lot of stores who run modern and legacy or popper or something like that and this discourages them from running those formats and only running standard. It's actually a very tall order. The store has to run 15 standard events. 15 is, what is that? That's like three months and maybe more depending on the month. Overall, that's an insane amount of standard that the store has to run. So when April Revolt game day is just two weeks out, standard season is about to get going full blast to help keep attendance in your store all the way to Amaket. We're offering some special rewards for you and your players. Uh, from February 13th to April 16th, run 15 events. Wow, that's a lot of events. February, March, April, yeah. So about pretty much an event every single week. Uh, then you get five Amaket posters. That's kind of cool. I don't know why store needs five of them though. Like uh, my store doesn't even have room because it's a, um, it is a comic book store. So therefore it doesn't really have room because it has a lot of comic book stores, uh, comic book posters. Additionally, all WPN stores that schedule Amicat pre-release will receive rewards for their standard players. Special land promo cards from standard legal sets, 10 for core levels, 20 for advanced and 30 for advanced plus. You your issue these to any player that joined six standard events at your store during that window. Now, that's interesting. I don't know how they're going to keep track of it, if they're going to keep track of it with that computer program from the 1990s that they sometimes use. But uh, yeah, that's kind of nice. Just as long as you go to six, do you get, do you get one card or do you think you get more? So two, four, six copies each. Okay, so you get each. So if you're the Mega Advanced Plus, you get 30 cards. Hmm, doesn't seem like that much, to be honest. But it's the using the normal frame of a Masterpiece series art. That is intriguing because that's a tank. I mean, the art on the Masterpieces are not, in my opinion, better. It is very similar. I'm confused as to what they would try to achieve. I would just say give them expeditions. Give them an expedition and that will drive people there. So how do they sign up? Uh, just run 15 standard events, one a week pretty much. And the rewards will arrive on March 27th with the posters. And okay, so to make sure all qualifying players receive their rewards, even if their favorite store falls short, short of the 15 standard events, promo cards and playmats will ship to all stores that schedule Amaket pre-release. So do they get like double? Is it double dipping? Anyways, I like it because it shows that they understand what the issue is. The issue is there's not people in stores. The issue is that people are not playing standard. This solves both problems in my opinion and Honestly, it's probably the best thing they've done in a while. At least they've shown good faith that something will change soon. So good decision by Wizards of the Coast. Uh, leave me a comment if you agree, disagree, or overall don't know what they are doing. Bye, guys.